Hey guys, uh, Leah here. Yeah. Today, we're gonna show you how we made an organizer out of a cereal box. Enjoy the video! You need to remember this. A caterpillar has to endure all dangers and obstacles on the ground, then it has to put forth hard labor as it wraps itself in its cocoon. Then it's provided some rest, but still has to wait and trust for protection from all dangers outside its cocoon. Eventually it receives what it was promised and becomes a butterfly. The caterpillar had a process to endure in order to receive the promise of its wings. The message is never expect God's promise without the process. So if you're going through challenges and you keep asking God why, just know that there is a road of challenges you must walk before you receive your blessing because you have experiences to experience and lessons you must learn. And such lessons will benefit you in your life. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut from here to about the middle of the box and then from here down to about here, which is around four inches from the bottom. And so it's going to carry on all the way down the side of the box over here. And this whole piece is all going to be cut out. Everything except for the back, which is going to be where the main design is. Uh, but we're just going to leave the back completely like this so we can put a nice design on there. So this is the shape we have right now. Now all we're going to do is we're just going to cut off these little pieces here and then we're going to reinforce it with some extra cardboard pieces. This will make the box nice and sturdy. So we just took some extra cardboard pieces, folded them in half and attached one side to the floor of the box and one side to the wall of the box. Then we took longer strips and placed them uh, on the side of the box connecting to the ones on the ground not forgetting to run one along the back you don't have to do this step but our box was really flimsy so we had to reinforce it with that done now we can start painting We started off with making this purpley blue color, which was going to be the main color for the whole background of the box. And let me tell you guys, it was quite a pain to apply um, because of the smooth texture of the box and the thinness of this paint. It took us at least, I think maybe five to six layers and we had to spray some kind of sealant between each layer to, so we didn't pick up the paint from the previous layer and it was a whole thing but luckily we managed to pull through and I think it came out really good. Once the front and sides were done we could move on to the back of the box. This is the result the next day. Then we went over the whole box with one final spray of sealant. This is to ensure that the blue paint will not be picked up if anything is painted over the box. And it's a good thing that we did this or else this white paint would have been sticking to the blue and picking it up and it would have been mixing and blah 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 blah. So it would have been pretty difficult trying to paint any design over this box. For our box we decided to paint butterflies on it but you can paint whatever you want. We also decided to add some snails. I don't know why, it just felt right. And then we just went ahead and littered everything in Leah's design. I mean, this organizer was going to be on Leah's desk, so it had to be Leah-fied. So for the wings of the butterflies, we went for colors that were quite opposite to the purpley blue that we had on the background. So we chose colors like yellow and orange and brown. I think the most difficult parts about painting the wings is we try to spread the colors out so that the same color is not sitting next to itself. That and also trying to stay inside the lines.
After doing the little flying lines behind the butterflies, we moved on to the back of the box, which is where Leah put her main design. After Leah finished her design on this part of the box, we went over with one more spray of sealant and it was complete. This project was so much fun and we really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. You can also find us on TikTok and Instagram to see any sneak peeks or in-progress videos. Have a good day everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye.